Hi guys! Today we're gonna show you how to make the perfect steak without barbecue grill just using your oven and your stove top. We're gonna be using the reverse sear method where we're gonna bake our steaks in the oven at 275 degrees until the internal temperature reaches 125 degrees and then we're going to pan sear them. As far as ingredients, we prefer not to drench our steaks in marinades or barbecue sauce and we like to keep it simple. So all we're using is black pepper, kosher salt, and at the end, when the steaks are done, a little bit of garlic and a little bit of butter. Today we're going to be using some nice New York strips. And a couple of tips about the strips. Uh, first of all, I bought them four or five days ago and I let them sit in the refrigerator, this way they were aging. Another tip is take the steaks out of the refrigerator about 30 to 45 minutes before you're ready to start cooking them. This way they're going to be room temperature and steaks at room temperature are way more tender than steaks that come straight out of the refrigerator. First we're going to salt our steaks to build a nice crust and uh, you have to put more kosher salt than you think you need and it's going to build up a nice crust around them and make sure you get the salt on all sides next I'm going to put the black pepper just as much as you like and then flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. Next we're gonna put our steaks in a casserole dish covered with aluminum foil and use some oil spray, olive oil or whatever you have. Spray your pan and lay your steaks in it. Next, put your meat thermometer and one of your steaks, preferably the thicker one, and kind of right in the middle, and they're ready to go in the oven. Next, you preheat your oven to 275 degrees. So our steaks are out, the internal temperature reached 125 degrees and now we are ready to pan sear them. So you spray your pan with oil, olive oil I'm using in this case, and turn your burner on high. And while I'm waiting for my oil to preheat on the stove where I'm gonna sear the steaks, I'm gonna crush my garlic. I have about three cloves of garlic in here. And I also already melted the butter in the microwave. A whole stick of butter, it takes about 20 seconds to completely melt. Next, you pour your melted butter into the bowl where you crush the garlic and mix it. Next, we're gonna pan sear our steaks. Be careful though, because it's gonna splatter. And sear them just enough to make a nice caramelized crust on each side. So those have been searing for about a minute now. And what I'm gonna do is I will flip them over. And let them cook for another 45 seconds or so. Okay, it's been about 45 seconds. Let me mix. I am going to do a little bit each one of the sides. Just to get it nice and crunchy. And I will do the same thing with the other one. The last thing you have to do is add some of your uh, garlic butter mix just take a spoonful and just pour it gently over it. 
you will have to flip it over and add another spoonful of your butter and garlic mix. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and if you liked it, please come back and give it the thumbs up and share it on social media. And if this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe for more delicious recipes. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and I will answer them. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.